He said in his book, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read or write, but instead those who cannot unlearn, those who cannot learn, unlearn and relearn. Right? So we're in the 21st century and he's saying today, people who are illiterate are not those who can't read or write, but those who can't unlearn what they've been taught. So this was a very wealthy man, very influential man. Why was he saying this? Did you know something? Okay, this is what he wrote in his book. Perhaps for humanity to evolve, I think, consciously, to the next stage of human consciousness, intelligence and growth, we must be prepared to continually learn, unlearn and relearn. On that note, without further ado, I present my geocentric model of the universe. What I think the universe looks like. Uh, you've got to bear in mind everything I've said today, uh, based on the mythology, based on nature and the cosmic egg, and this will make a bit more sense. Right, can we reveal it, if that's all right? Sorry, some of the um, suns and moons have gone out. Hmm? Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about this. So, I'm not going to go into, uh, into all the details. I'm going to briefly go through this. Um, but as you can see, this is the egg. This is what I think the egg is with a big electromagnetic torus field on the outside. And again, like all the scriptures and the mythologies, there are waters above us, right, which are the heavens, and there are waters below us. And on the earth, well, on the waters, the earth is resting upon, okay? And the earth is divided into four concentric rings of land, four wombs, right? Uh, with the, the center, being where everything starts, where we are, being the, uh, the second womb, uh, a third womb on the outside, and a fourth womb, the furthest one. Now I think each of these wombs are covered by their own torus field, their own electromagnetic torus field, what a lot of us flat earthers call the dome, okay? So each of them has its own dome, its own electromagnetic torus field. And in each of these realms, or in each of these domes, they have their own solar system. Just like we have our own solar system, we have a sun and moon that we observe when we look up. So I think in this outer realm, they have their own solar system, which is Venus and Mars. So Mars and Venus are the sun and moons of this outer realm. And this last realm, the sun and moon are Saturn and uh, Jup uh, Jupiter, right? I'm going to reiterate, I'm not preaching, I'm not selling anything, this is an idea, okay? This is a hypothesis based on what I've just read. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'll just close up and then, yeah. Okay. And um, above that, just like all the scriptures and the mythologies say, are the heavens, the firmament that is above the earth, as above, so below just like we witness. So when we're in here and we're looking up and we see all the um, wandering planets and we see that shimmering light when you look through your P900 camera, you see this and I think you're seeing the solar systems of these further out worlds. But they look like light and water because you're looking through uh, different atmospheres, you're looking through this electromagnetic field. I don't know what these fields are made of. They might be made of plasma. I think recently on the internet there's a lot of videos coming out about plasma in the dome, which is like a watery substance. So perhaps they're made of water of some sort, electromagnetic water. Okay. Um, and of course at the center, right, I think there is a realm, like all the scriptures say, the Garden of Eden, 
Hyperborea, Shambhala, call it what you like. And that's hidden. It's like a crater continent underneath a cloud of some sort, a heaven of some sort. So I think if we flew, no one can fly over the North Pole, as you know. Electron electronics don't work directly over. But I'm guessing if you flew over, you'd see a white swirling cloud. I think you've seen this on the internet. Uh, the North Pole has this white swirling cloud. So I think that's the heaven that's sitting above the central realm at the center in this crater continent. So right now, at the North Pole, I think there are people there. There are civilizations there. And beyond the Antarctic, the South Pole, are also civilizations beyond. So I certainly believe that there are definitely no aliens. So the aliens we are shown with the funny faces, I think those are a deception. But I do believe there are extraterrestrials. So you break that word down, extra means more, terrestrial means terrain, right? So extraterrestrials, beings from terrain beyond the space we are in. So this is the space we're in. Beyond this space is outer space. This is outer space, not up in the sky somewhere. So I believe in space, but it's not in the luminaries. We cannot go to the luminaries. We know that. These are suns and moons or, or solar systems. We can't go there. We don't understand what they are or how they work. But for sure, we can't go there. But we can go to outer space beyond and also within. Okay? Um, I think we'll take a break now. And maybe you can have a look and um, we'll resume afterwards. Thank you for being patient. Uh, can I just mention that somebody's lost their or misplaced their orange uh, glasses? Anyone? Anyway, I'll leave them up here then if it's your oh it's yours. Are you serious? They're yours. <laughs> it's the orange. We're thinking about just making it ten minutes so so we can wrap up um quick. Thank you.